hope I'm looking in the right spot. Anyway, time will tell. I wanted to show you my portable setup for my gouache practice. Uh, the name of the setup could just be called bag with smaller bags in it, but uh, you might find it helpful. I have found that I like to be able to move my practice around. Sometimes I like to paint on the couch in front of the TV with my husband and my dog, and sometimes I like to take it all the way on the go somewhere else, and maybe you do too. And this setup has made that much more possible. And so, like I said, it's essentially one big plastic bag with lots of little plastic bags and all of my supplies in it. So let me show you what I have in here. So first up, I have just a little spray bottle for water. I have a collapsible cup. So that acts as my water cup. Pencil sharpener. Okay, so I have both a bag of paint. So this little bag holds all of my tubes, my most used tubes of paint. Um, so I have tubes with me, but I also just started using a tiny palette too um, as a way to have already cured gouache ready to go and to keep it covered. Because I also have in this smaller bag a little ceramic palette. And I used to keep my gouache squeezed out on here. Uh, my friend and fellow artist Shana Wanko at Iris and Marie Press, uh, she has a beautiful palette like this and she has all of her paint cured on it all the time. And while I liked that and I didn't mind working that way, when I would go to put it in the bag, uh, some of the gouache would chip off if there were big chunks and then I wouldn't get to really reuse it. And so now I'm kind of in the middle of having this nice cured set that um, has some paint in there so I don't always have to squeeze fresh out, but I also have this palette for mixing and if I wanna use any of the fresh paint right from the tubes. Inside this bag where I keep my palette, I also have a little uh, ceramic brush stand that came with the palette and so that's nice to have. I also have some paper towels that I can reuse and a mini color wheel with some notes about um, the values of my paints. And so all of that fits in this. I also keep a book. There's room for this little book of color palettes. Um, this is um, a Dictionary of Color Combinations Volume 2. There's two of them. I love them. They just have little color palettes in there and I like to reference and try to practice color mixing to mix to the colors that I'm seeing. I also have another little bag and this has all my pencils, pens, my eraser, and also it's got my brushes in it. So I use these Escoda versatile travel brushes that open just like that. And they're kind of pricey. These were gifted to me. I did not buy them. Um, and while they're actually not my favorite brush, they are my favorite brush for this purpose because I can pack them up. I know the tips are taken care of. There's a little hole so they can breathe if they get in there while they're still wet. Um, and they pack nicely in with my other supplies and I don't have to worry about them. And so all of that stuff is in here. And last but not least, my sketchbook. And so um, this is just a little, I don't know, six, seven, eight, seven-ish, eight-inch by eight-inch square uh, Kunst and Papier binder board sketchbook. But, and obviously this is kind of big. You could fit a smaller one in there, no problem. And it's also pretty thick. And so that's a lot of stuff to pack in here. Um, but it's really nice because I find that it isn't too hard with all the modular pieces to get them to fit back into the bag when it all is said and done. It's easy to empty my water cup, collapse it back down, close up my paint palettes and pack everything up and move it along to the next place. So I hope that's helpful. I will uh, mention, I will share the links to uh, where I got these bags from and some of the art supplies too, if you want to use some of the same ones. Bye.